Hi Michael. We're just about to, um, to do a survey for the Arapaho Island sheep, which uh, now we think highly threatened and we're trying to get our numbers so we can develop some sort of management plan for their protection. Always my passion, I was ever since I was a, a wee fellow, I was to have a zoo. These are really one of the last major exotic animals that don't fit into our New Zealand theme, and because of that, they'll be moved on. The emphasis has shifted more into native New Zealand and New Zealand wildlife. Probably one of the most popular pigs in the world, actually. They just love people, love scratching, and they're just an absolute delight to, ha to handle. They're not a bad bone in the Kuni Kuni's body. They got down just a handful of friends and myself, probably credited with saving this breed from extinction. They're so nice. Highly endangered and a great example of creatures which really need protection and yet um, some people are very fearful of them. <laughs> you need to understand them more and understand their value and um, protect them. His name's Sirius. He is really quite a magnificent specimen. You're not just looking at an animal, you're looking at a bundle of genetics. And in the future, you just don't know what those characteristics may be need to be. Grant the Boar is an Auckland Island pig, a very special breed. Uh, they're thought to hold uh, the key to things like um, diabetes and Parkinson's and, and various other medical conditions. A good example of an animal that value was unrecognised until we actually researched. And then it goes on to the native section where we've got our kiwis, our tuatara, our takahe. And the rare breeds are a form of conservation that I'm particularly passionate about. We're going to uh, auction today uh, the livestock. Ducks, chooks, geese, sheep, goats, cattle and so on. You can't actively breed native birds, for instance, you can't breed exotic ones. But what you can do is you can preserve rare breeds of, of livestock. And ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. 1320, down to 320, quick boot, going, hit around, all over. 320 by. They're called Swiss Belay, Black Nose Belay. Very, very much in vogue. Did you buy them? Yeah. Yes. Oh, did you? Yeah. The fact that they're rare as well, I just wanted to do something different. You've got uh, animal people and you've got chalk people. That's a buff culture rooster, directly from China. They make good eating. There are three Cooney Coonies, there's two males and one female. In or out, pull over. How many do you like, sir? Excuse me, where are they going? What in? What in farmyard? <laughs> you hear so much about saving the pandas, saving the kiwis, but people don't realise there were sheep breeds, you know, and breeds that Captain Cook brought out to New Zealand that have just sort of got forgotten about. Much rarer than the kakapo. As far as evidence from Cook releasing them, there's a Cook's journal to say that he released sheep. Um, under the protection, the, the Māori gave them a, 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 a tapu, and uh, so that um, cook was quite happy that they were going to be protected from then on. Just a wee way to go. Pretty sure this is one here, right in the middle of the cross here. So we just creep up on them quite slowly. These are the only ones um, that have been, having been here 250 years, if that's right, uh, makes them an individual breed in their own right. The main problem is the, is the attitude of the government, which is really to uh, remove these animals and, uh, and, in effect, cull them. It's simple, really. It just needs a management plan put on them so the flock can be managed and they should be given some sort of heritage protection because of their status. Up on that clearing, just below that woods there. Four, maybe five, six. That puts it between 80 to 100, which would be a reasonable assessment. 